With gymnastics, I've always been, I guess, a pretty active kid, um, just kind of running around all the time, always on my hands. Um, so I felt like, since I had so much energy as a kid, that um, gymnastics was, was a lot of fun and I was able to do, you know, like flips and I guess, I mean, what kid doesn't really want to do flips? Um, USA Junior National Team member, and you're watching Alpha Matt. My family obviously has been there um, since the beginning and they've always said like if this isn't the thing that you want um, then we won't do it. You're not doing this for us like you're doing it for yourself. Uh, blueberry muffins and coffee cake. Why are they dancing to this song in China? China's trying to get the winter games. They are? Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one of the things that said that they, the way they blew out the whole Youth Olympic Games. My dad is, um, knows like everything about the sport. I think sometimes he knows sometimes more than me. Um, you know, like about skills or about events or about different gymnasts. So my dad is very into the sport and that's awesome because I can have in-depth conversations like with him. Uh, Why would you want to hold on to games? Just because you get like you, you, you get travel, you get tourism money, you get uh, your country gets shown internationally. Balancing school and gymnastics, I don't think is as difficult as it could be for other people. The thing is, um, because I'm homeschooled, it's much easier for me to balance um, both my academics and my athletics. Um, I do go to school uh, two days a week. What do you have in algebra? Thanks. No, you're not. What do you have in that class? I really don't know. We go, go, we go, go. You know what I'm saying? Hello, Sierra. My first class is government and econ. And it's in like the library, so this is my first class. Do you know where you want to go? Do you have a top three? Okay, I got a good report back from Joe. Hmm? I don't think so. Andrew Johnson violated tenure of office. Why was Bill Clinton impeached? Because he lied under oath. What? Because he lied under oath. Because he lied under oath. Years. So they are constantly, constantly asking for money. And for that, members of Congress make. Five thousand about per year. What do you say? How was your college visit? Oh, it was to Illinois. It looked like yeah. It was great. Do you, do you like it? Yeah, I loved it. Um, it's definitely good to have friends outside, um, you know, with school, so that I can kind of take my mind off of gymnastics a little bit and focus on my studies and then focus on my relationships that I'm building with, with people that aren't necessarily involved with gymnastics but are involved in my life. Yeah. So it's like a like a gymnastics documentary. Really? Yeah. You know, I guess the day in the life of Al Gitter. What I like to eat. The day in the life of Al Gitter. Some DP, some Starburst, you know. <laughs> Everything healthy. He's he's one of the funniest people I know. He's super fun to be around. Do you want a Starburst? I love her. Wait, do you know my name? <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> yes. I thought it was Katie, to be honest with you. Okay. You look like a Katie. He's incredibly blunt, which um, it's pretty hilarious because he just says what he's thinking. Like, especially like with people he doesn't know. I've been sitting at this table for like the past three weeks, and I didn't know your name. <laughs> so I didn't want to like ask you your name. 
So I'm glad you told me. What's my real name? Starts with a D. I gave you a first letter, it should be easy, right? Wait, you got nope. Two tries. Dan. Nope. <laughs> Dwayne. No. Um, Not Dwayne. Daniel. <laughs> no. I don't know any other names that start with D. Sorry. That's pathetic. That's, that's, that's D'Angelo. D'Angelo Vickers. <laughs> When he throws this peanut butter sandwich at him and he's like swatting <laughs> it away. I don't know your last name. Yeah, it's okay. I didn't know your first name. <laughs> the coolest thing about that is probably the fact that he doesn't let it get to his head. Because, I mean, like most people, like if they were that famous, like that that high up, they would, you know, be pretty snobby. He's, he's really down to earth and cool. Yeah. His speech. I had to give a speech on Thursday. It's supposed to be eight minutes long. Yeah, we've got a great setup here where we get to do a little bit of both. We kind of get the best of both worlds. He gets to go two days a week and study with friends and teachers and kind of get back into a more traditional school, but yet we still kind of get the best of him here at home. So um, I would say that um, that's probably probably helped him the most is having um, some of those times during the day when he's not tired and he's not really worn out to kind of connect not only with us but with friends because you know by the end of the night he's exhausted. Like I go to my classes on Tuesday and Thursday and then I get my homework that I get done on the other days um, so like if I'm ever confused about something like I don't understand then on Tuesday and Thursday when I go to class I can just like ask a question or like after class, just like see if they can help me figure something out. Um, but I like the schedule because like when I'm gone a lot, especially when I have like trips that I have to take or camps, when I'm gone for like weeks, um, like they're pretty accommodating and they understand. Our afternoon practices, we usually work like three events. And since we have six events, it's kind of hard to squeeze everything in when you only have three and a half hour practices every night. So it's good during um, these two to four workouts. I usually do like rings and parallel bars. It's it's very quiet. Like I listen to music because we don't really do much um, talking since there's there's me and this other kid and there's Gene and obviously Gene's like a dinosaur. He doesn't talk ever. So we're just like kind of on our own and I don't know. I'll like say something to him and he'll give me like a head nod. I'll be like, what do I do? And he'll like tell me what to do. And that's like one of the only conversations we have. So I try and try and liven up the mood a little bit with him, trying to get him to talk, but he's he's pretty quiet. He likes to keep to himself. I listen to music. Listen to like like EDM, like house music kinda. It's like electronic music. I don't I don't think Gene really likes it very much. He likes that we listen to music, but I mean his music is like I don't know, he listens to like Bach and like Mozart and stuff like that. Like I can't work out to that. You're gonna do the same thing with an additional pull twist. So I will be going to my stomach. No. No. Did you just go to your stomach? You know the Come here. I no, you no, you didn't. Come here. I was no confused. Over to your back. I can't do that with a okay. full twist. You can't do that with a full twist? Wait. Okay. Oh, I don't think so. I'll hmm. try it. <laughs> well, that was fun. Gene is 
like one of the greatest people that I've ever met in my life. He's um, just such an awesome, an awesome guy, an awesome coach, and uh, an awesome grandpa, kind of. He was a uh, uh, Future Stars uh, team member, made the developmental Future Stars team. So he had some good basics when he came in. And some of the, the biggest problems was trying to put in a long range plan um, to develop around some of his weaknesses that we had to take care of. Me too. <laughs> like watching worlds on rings was demoralizing. Oh, watching I know, because they look like it's so easy. Just like, all the red on my pieces are like right there. Like it's easy. And I'm like, and I'm like this. Okay. Okay. His vaulting, like two years ago, he was like, last in the war in the country and so we've been doing a lot of different drill work and stuff to try to help that and this is essentially adding on to the drill stuff that we've been doing now that had a little more up like when i was a kid i used to, i remember i'd go to camps or i'd go to clinics and i'd see gene i'd be like scared of him because he doesn't talk he just like stares at you with like the most judgmental like face like ever like like whenever even now whenever like i'll hit like a good routine I just get off the event and he's just like standing there like just like staring just like just like that and he'll like give me a high five or something and I was like that was it like I just hit like a great routine but he's he's very laid back which is definitely really good in the gym. When I was in China there was one one point when I had to like get my chalk ready and get my stuff ready for the bars on P bars before finals and my time was taking 30 minutes, I had 30 seconds uh, to start and I had like, just just put honey on the bars. So I'm like freaking out, I'm like trying to get my chalk. I'm like, oh, Gene, we're not gonna make it, we're not gonna make it. He's like, all right, calm down, calm down. He's like helping me chalk up the bars, helping me get everything in position. So it's definitely good to have him who's very calm instead of like freaking out about it. He can calm me down and say, hey, you know, just like, just take a breather, you know, it's gonna be okay, which is good. You know the song, Blinded by the Light? I think it's appropriate right now. So you got to learn to open up strong without going arch. You know, you want to open up to that hollow position. You know what I feel like you have to have? Either like monkey hand, Unbelievable drop. The other part is just perseverance and hard work. You, know, you have a plan, you follow the plan, you have confidence in what you're doing. Um, you know, that, that's what makes makes a good gymnast, and you know, he has those those capacities to do that. So that works pretty good. Just keep your fingers on top, and then instead of bending your arms to grab. Just roll your hands over. Yeah, just, you're just coming and you're kicking a little bit early through the bottom. And it shows on your Jamadoff. Stutz his Jamadoff's repetitious so we can keep the tight body. And of course, always trying to stick landings. Always focusing on that. I could tell that that was kind of a uh, frustrating thing for him. Yeah, he wasn't very good at it today. <laughs> that was a 
was good. They say when it comes, you know, you see the light. Well, we're just in the gym every day, working gymnastics, enjoying what we're doing. Um, that's, that's the biggest part of it.